put that away. You gotta be okay, you hear me? Okay, I'm sorry. It was delicious. I love the taste of cards. Nice car! Too bad I won it! Oh, no, no! Away, man. Fuck. Eat Fuck this. Must have been nothing. Don't even think.
We got more cars than a parking lot, Chief. What do you say we lay lower? This door looks pretty old, boss. Next time I talk to a girl, find some place else to be, all Tom, right? Vincenzo's not here, and someone killed his bodyguard. My God, he could be in serious trouble. Or dead. No, he's not dead. His kidnappers would be too smart for that. Vincenzo has to make it to the hearing. We have to find him, fast. Now, I agree. Ask around. Someone must have seen something. But if you get a lead, make sure it checks out. But hurry, Michael's counting on you. Let's go get Vincenzo. Did I turn the stove off? You trying to clean up the streets all by yourself? That John is dreaming. You Excuse me, miss. I'm looking for someone. This man. Have you seen him? Yeah, he looks familiar. He was staying with some Corleones at that apartment, right? This family gets respect, Dominic. All because of you. Sir, excuse me. I'm looking for this man. He looks familiar. Yeah, I seen that guy. He was arguing with two men at a cafe. I remember, they both had Italian accents. Pardon me, I'm looking for this guy. Vincenzo Pentangeli. Does he look familiar? He's the guy from across my alley. Heard him arguing with some people last night. Sounded like at least three men. What's bothering you, babe? You need help with something? I'll be straight with you. I'm asking you to commit a crime. But it's nothing big. Just stealing. Think you can overlook the rules for a few minutes and help me? I'm in. What's the job? Last week, I caught my cleaning lady looking at my diamond brooch. And lo and behold, this week, it went missing. I know she's got it, the little thief, but the police won't help without proof. Well, to hell with them. She's keeping it in her boyfriend's safe. He runs a business in town. Sure. Pardon me, have you seen this man? His name is Vincenzo Pentangeli. That guy? Yeah, he got in a cab with these two Italian goombas. Said that he was going to the south side docks. Hey, I'm looking for the guy in this picture. Have you seen him? Yeah, saw him at my cafe. I remember these three guys were giving him a hard time. Never going back to his place again. Guys, oh, excuse me. Could you take a look at this picture? I'm looking for this man, Vincenzo Pentangeli. I seen him. Saw him and three of his pervy friends going into that brothel. The, uh, Maison Rouge. I wonder why they attacked that place. Excuse me, but I'm looking for someone. Have you seen this man? His name is Vincenzo. Ese es su amigo? Si, sí, lo vi en la Casa Roja con tres otros muchachos.
girlfriend of mine is missing. This man. Have you seen him? Si. He lives in the apartment above mine. He's nice. Said buenas noches to me before he turned in last night. We still got a deal, but you better hold up your end of the bargain. Dominic, we getting done before the clubs close? Take care of that. Where do you think Dominic's taking us? One more turn and... I think I can crack it. He's finished, boss. Take the bus. Where's Vincenzo? I don't know what you're talking about, man. You got me messed up with some other guy, man. Where are you hiding Vincenzo? Answer me! I don't know who you're talking about. But he's coming! He's still
still out there. Say Jesus! Over here! Finish it quick, okay? Where are you hiding, Vincenzo? Tell me, and I might let you live. Fuck you! You'll never get your hands on it. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Let's jump Lights in. out. What you gonna do now, boss? Dale! Espera, espera! I surrender! I'm not gonna ask again. Where is Vincenzo? Okay, I'll talk. He's being held at a safe house nearby. He's still alive, but you'll have to hurry. <coughs> God paid us to kidnap the old man, not to kill him. No, I no, handed him off no, to one of his associates. Deep wound, but you're gonna be all right. They didn't get anything major. Put that away. Stay with me now. Stay with me now.
gun down. This is gonna hurt. Drop it. The punk's not worthy of digging a hole. Are you all right? Tutte bene. Who... who are you? My name is Dominic. I'm a friend of Michael Corleone. Michael? The trap? It is too late. My brother, Frank. We still have time. I'll take you there, but we have to hurry. Okay. Take me there. I cannot allow Frank to do this, to break a murder, to burn in hell. Andiamo. Will everyone be seated? We have here today a witness who will testify to Michael Corleone's rule over a crime empire that controls all the gambling in this country. He can corroborate enough charges to recommend a count of perjury against Michael Corleone. Senator? Thank you, Mr. Pentangeli. Mr. Pentangeli, were you a member of the Corleone family? Did you serve under Vito Corleone, also known as the Godfather? I never known no Godfather. I got my own family, Senator. Mr. Pentangeli. You were contradicting a sworn statement. I ask you again, were you a member of a crime organization headed by Michael Corleone? I don't know nothing about that. Oh, I was in the, uh, in the olive oil business with his father, but that was a long time ago. We have an affidavit that you murdered on the orders of Michael Corleone. The FBI guy promised me a deal, so I made up a lot of stuff about Michael because that's what they wanted, and I kept saying, Michael Corleone did this, and uh, Michael, Michael Corleone did that, but it was all lies. I'm going to find out what the hell happened here. Senator! Senator! I move to adjourn this committee. The committee owes this man an apology. The witness is now excused. Christ, can you imagine if we didn't get here in time? Thank God you did. I could see it in him. Frank was going to talk, <laughs> but it's over now. You should go ahead and speak with Michael. He's in the defense chambers. Hey, Senator Gary, look like... And, and what the hell? Just like that, in front of everyone. I told you he would. I don't get you, people. Congratulations, Michael. The plan worked. It's over. It's not over. Not yet. Pat, where's Henry Mitchell? I don't know. The CIA can't find him. I think he's turned, working for another family. Mitchell's like a bad penny. He'll turn up. You better hope he doesn't. And why not? Mitchell was working with Roth. Anything Roth knows. Mitchell knows about us, about you. Christ, he could sell us out. Or what if he goes public? 
About Cuba? What if he talks? He won't talk. I want him gone. I want them all gone. Michael. I mean it, Tom. Mitchell, the Almeidas, everyone. They'll keep coming for us, for our families. You've won. You have to wipe everyone out. I don't feel I have to wipe everyone out. Just my enemies. That's all. Next time I talk to a girl, find someone I need it open. to be, all right? Shit, almost had it. Nice. I'm leaving for Vegas soon, so I'll be brief. Do you understand what I'm saying? Of course. My family will always support you. Good. All of them, Dominic. Every family, every racket, every made man. And Henry Mitchell, too. He's probably a bigger threat than you realize. No. I know how dangerous he can be. Okay, Michael. Leave it to me. Thank you. This is a critical moment for you and for your family. What you do now will make history. The Senator can probably answer some of your questions. Let's do this, Dominic. Relax, Senator. You played your part perfectly. Don't tell me to relax. I'll do business with you. That doesn't mean I have to accept this dishonest way you pose yourself. Tell me what you know about Mitchell. Where he might be hiding. Anything. I told you everything I know. Mitchell's seeking protection with another family. If he feeds them information, they'll be able to strike wherever it hurts you the most. And if he spills his guts to the papers, well then, just pack it up. We're done for. And, uh, I hope we can count on you to cover this up, Senator. The ball's already rolling. That little plot the two of you cooked up in Cuba, the mob and the CIA in bed together, it's a disgrace to the country. It'd bring down the administration. Now, everything on Mitchell is already being covered up at the highest levels. A disgrace? <laughs> We're both part of the same hypocrisy, Senator. History might redeem us. Oh, right. I'm sure 40 years from now, nobody will even bat an eyelash that the CIA and the Mafia conspired to kill a foreign leader. Like it's just par for the course. Hell no. Mark my words. No one will ever find out about this. I told you everything I know. Mitchell's seeking protection with another family. If he feeds them information, they'll be able to strike wherever it hurts you the most. And if he spills his guts to the papers, well then, just pack it up. We're done for. I told you everything I know. Mitchell's seeking protection with another family. If he feeds them information, they'll be able to strike wherever it hurts you the most. And if he spills his guts to the papers, well then, just pack it up. We're done for. This is it, Tom. War. We don't let up until we're on top. You can win this, Dominic. But never forget the people who got you this far, your family. You'll need them now, more than ever. What's gonna happen to Fredo? I'm worried about him. He's staying at Michael's compound in Lake Tahoe. He's being watched, protected, really. Michael doesn't want anything to happen to him. Not now, not while we're at war. I suppose Pentangeli's headed to the federal pen now. He gave up immunity when he perjured himself. He'll have the rest of his life to think about this. Frank could still fix his mistake, though. And if he does, all will be forgiven. You could win this, Dominic. But you have to play it right. Especially after the investigation, any move you make is bound to draw attention. To pull this off, you'll have to have a plan. We're under attack! They want their turf! <laughs> 